<laughs> oh, hey, it's Rob. Uh, spring has apparently arrived in Bemidji. It's an over 50 degree day. I think it's the first one that we've had this year. Uh, it was snowing a couple days ago, so taking advantage of the day. It is a gorgeous day. Uh, I've been outside playing with the dogs a couple times. Uh, right now, I'm doing some grilling. I'm trying to take advantage of the lovely weather to grill some stuff in advance because uh, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm not going to eat that whole steak in one sitting. Uh, but I will have it over several. You know, got some burgers, got some dogs, got some sausages, uh, maybe some chicken. Uh, probably going to throw some of it on uh, with the smoker pack. This little thing. Uh, this has been really awesome for smoking. Uh, I, it's called Smokist. Um, you know, not a sponsor or anything. I just got this at the hardware store and uh, you fill the pouch with wood chips and you, you know, soak them for a little while so that they have some moisture to them and then you put them on the fire and it smokes. So uh, what I like to do is put them on the fire, get them going relatively good and then uh, close up the grill and turn the heat way down and then just let it go for an hour or two and it does a surprisingly good job i've been really kind of impressed overall the grill i've got uh, a hot side uh, it's actually looking pretty good i've got one hot side directly over the coals direct flame for searing and then uh, indirect heat on everything else so i'm going to be doing a little bit of that but other than that i've uh, got some more stuff i need to do tonight so uh, give me a couple minutes. So with the thaw, um, I had this up on blocks, the front end up on blocks because otherwise it was uh, all the snow and all the water and everything was getting trapped inside the dumpster. And since it's fallen, that's happened again. So there's a bunch of water that's in there that's just sitting. That can breed mosquitoes. It's also not really good for just sitting and sitting in stuff. So I want to tip it back up so that it can drain and I won't have this problem again. The thing is, this thing is heavy. Uh, it's several tons. So this is where my friend Harbor Freight comes in. That is a three ton, a three ton uh, long lift jack. Uh, so I'm going to jack this up like I did before and uh, try and put wood underneath it in such a way so that it has a little bit more stability and isn't going to fall off and uh, cause any more issues.
Well, I had to add a little bit more than I thought he did to make sure that it was actually draining out the back once I let the jack out. But this should be stable enough for my needs. Um, I mean, this thing is not moving this way at all. Uh, it might sink <laughs> over on that side a little bit. That's actually not a horrible thing because that way it... I mean, it's already on a tip that direction, so... You know, it just, it'll drain. Uh, so yeah, I guess now the thing to do is load it with more junk. <laughs> uh, you've seen that before already, so uh, trying to get there. Hopefully I'll be, this weekend we'll be done with garage and shed. And, oh, I got a phone call. See you guys.